Welcome in part 3 of this series of video tutorials about Rigacar. My name is David from digicreatures.net and in this video you will learn how to animate your model with Rigacar along a path like this. You will also learn how to use ground sensors to be sure that your model is following the ground in your scene. And actually you will see that ground sensors are really useful, especially when the ground is bumpy, like this one for instance. And maybe some of you have recognized this nice uh, 3D viewport. I'm using right now Blender 2.8. This is the brand new uh, viewport of Blender 2.8. At the time of the recording of this video, Blender 2.8 is still in alpha version and Rigacar is not yet uh, working in Blender 2.8 but nonetheless I can review my animation in Blender 2.8 because Rigacar is only necessary when I want to create a new rig and I want to animate and especially animate the rotation of the wheels. So once the animation is done, you do not need to activate uh, Rigacar. This is especially useful to know if you are using a more advanced pipeline or if you are using render forms because uh, you do not have to install or activate Rigacar in your render forms. But go back to Blender 2.79 and let's try to create an animation like this. To keep the animation as simple as possible, I will only use the root widget and the ground sensors. So I will disable layer 2 and layer 3 in my armature to keep visible only the necessary widgets. Now I can go back to object mode by pressing Ctrl Tab, go to the top view. Press Shift A for the Add menu and add a curve path. Now I can go in Edit mode by pressing Tab and begin to move the control points to define the path which my car will follow. Hmm, probably something or maybe something like this. Now I must go to the Curve tab and change this value. Here you have the resolution of your curve. The default value is 12. Even if on the screen the curve seems smooth, if you animate your car along that path, you will have a jagged animation. So I have to crank up this value, for instance, to to guarantee that my path is really really smooth for the animation. Now I can go back to object mode by pressing tab and if I shift right click select the armature go to pose mode by pressing control tab select the root widget and press Ctrl Shift C, I bring up the Add Constraint menu and if I choose Follow Path, now Blender has automatically added a constraint for the root bone to follow that path. I can go to the Bone Constraints tab and here is the constraint. Hmm. If I click, if I click, for instance, here to the option fixed position to limit the the animation around zero and one, you can see that my model is following the curve. But you should really pay attention to this. The center of the the animation 
along the path is actually exactly the same as the center of the armature, which is not what I want. I want the root widget to follow the, the path, but the center point of the root widget is indicated here by the manipulators. So you see, it is not exactly the same point. I really don't know why a Blender acts like this, because I asked to uh, follow uh, a path for the root node, but I have to correct this. There are many ways to, to correct this. One of the ways you can, you can use is go to the object panel and adjust the delta transform along the y-axis. So here, for instance, if I decrease the value on the y-axis for the delta transform, I can move the center of my object at exactly the same place as the center of the root bone. So now, if I go back to bone constraints, I can see that my car is following the path around the back axle, which is actually the rotation point for the root uh, widget. And I can click now on follow curve. And if you remember what I told in the first part of the series, as your car is oriented along the minus y axis, I have to choose minus y for the follow path. And now my car is following correctly the path. I can even add key at frame 1, at the offset of 0, press shift right arrow to go at the last frame of my animation, put the offset to 1, press I to insert another keyframe, and now if I run the animation by pressing Alt-A, I can see that my car is following the curve. The next step will be to animate the rotation of the wheels. If you go back to the Properties panel, you have here two buttons in the menu Car Rig. These buttons are used to automatically generate keyframes to animate the steering and the wheel's rotation. So let's start with the steering. If I click on this button, you see that I have four parameters. This one and this one are to indicate the range of the animation. Here I have one and 1000, which correspond to the range of animation along the path, so it's OK for me. And if I click OK, now Rigacar has added many keyframes and you will see that the steering is now following the curve. OK, so if I go to the Graph Editor, you have here the curve generated by Rigacar, and you see that there is some weird point here. The curve is not completely smooth. Uh, actually, the algorithm is not 100% accurate so I have additional parameters to, to tweak the generation of uh, this curve. So, for instance, if I go back and click to Bake Steering, you have here the keyframe tolerance, which means the higher the value is, uh, the more tolerant Rigacar will be 
based on the variation along the curve. So if I crank up, crank up this value, for instance, to 3, and click OK again, you will see that now Rigger Car will generate less keyframes, and so the curve will be less accurate. On the contrary, if I put 0 for the keyframe tolerance, Rigger Car will generate one key per frame. And now you have a much smooth uh, curve. So this is the meaning of the keyframe tolerance. The last parameter, rotation factor, is a way to increase or decrease uh, the range of the, of the curve, of the animation curve. If I, for instance, if I move this value to 1.5 or 1.7, look at the curve, you have a higher range of value and of course if you put a value less than 1 you will have a lesser range of value probably 1.5 uh, sorry 1.5 for the rotation factor should be nice let me see. Yeah, not bad. Now I want to animate the rotation of the wheels. I have the second button, Bake Wheels Rotation. If I click on it, I will find exactly the same kind of parameter, start frame, end frame, and also keyframe tolerance. These parameters have exactly the same meaning as uh, for the bake steering uh, operation. If I click on OK, now Regocar has also created an animation curve for each wheel. And now the wheels are rotating while the car is moving along the path. To finish my animation, maybe I could add quickly a plane mesh and add an array modifier. Add also a curve modifier. In this way, this mesh will represent the road. Mm. I could scale it on the y-axis. Like this. Maybe add additional edges to have nice quads. Here it is. And now I can modify my path, for instance, along the Z axis like this. And also I could add a subdivision surface modifier for the road to to smooth the mesh and maybe smooth
Okay, this will be enough for my road. And now you can see here that unfortunately my car does not, does not really follow the ground. So this is the time I can use the ground sensors. If I select all of them, I have in the car rig menu additional parameters and here I can pick for each ground sensor an object that represents the ground in my scene. So this one I can rename it ground and I can pick the ground for each ground sensor. Now there is no more issue. The car is correctly following the road. As I show you in the introduction of this video, I can even add a displace modifier for the road, create a texture, for instance, a cloud texture to add bumps. Or maybe I should go back to the modifier tabs and increase the number of subdivision. Okay, of course I should reduce the strength of the displace modifier. And now you can see that my ground sensors are here to guarantee that my model will follow the ground. So this is actually the basic way to animate your car with rig a car along a path. And the good news is that the rotation of the wheels and all animation for the wheels are actually automatically generated. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.